how to do, plan a funeral. None of us wants to think about all the details of a proper funeral, so it's important to plan ahead so that everyone can grieve without unwanted surprises. Instruction Step 1 Choose music after reflecting on the musical tastes of the deceased. Step 2 Place an obituary in the newspaper. Work with the funeral home on this, as well as on memorial cards for attendees. A guest book for visitation and services allows you to thank people later. Step 3 Arrange a gathering after the burial, coordinating with the funeral home to offer suggestions for transportation and an announcement to guests. Did you know, did you know? In 2008, Washington State had the highest mean annual salary for funeral directors, at $86,610. Quick tip, be sensitive to those who might feel uncomfortable. Don't insist that someone speak if they clearly would rather not. Step 4 Invite readers to assist in the service or deliver a eulogy. Quick tip, elect one person to take the lead in decisions about embalming and cremation if the body hasn't been promised to medical research. Step 5 Delegate people to be in charge of legal advice, invitations, donations, calls to the funeral home, the church, and the florist. Step 6 Decide whether you want a formal memorial service or wake at you place of worship or an informal one at a funeral home. Or neither. Step 7 Choose pallbearers. Consider friends, neighbors, and colleagues. Step 8 Include the family on decisions about which funeral home to use and how much to spend. Select a casket that reflects what the deceased would have wanted.